Hello, everybody. I am back with some more Medieval Dynasty. I've been just kind of enjoying this game. And, uh... I've just been enjoying this game. I wanted to play it a little. It's kind of a... You know... Low energy game. And, uh... I've been streaming... Uh, in the mornings for me, and I've kind of been low energy, so we're going to stick with this. It's also just very calming, this game is. It's very calming and soothing. The sounds and everything. Uh, well, except for the time I was getting chased by a buffalo. That was not... Not very calming and soothing. That was horrifyingly ter scary, and... Uh, yeah. But anyways. So, um, I think I'm actually going to try to hunt a Wisent... Or uh, buffalo, whatever you want to call them. I think it's a buffalo. I live in an area where there are people who own buffalo. So, that's what those are to me. Rot. I'm going to take those, actually. Rot can be used to make fertilizer. So, if I get enough rotting food, I can make fertilizer. I wonder if I have any rotting food in here. I feel like I'm gonna eventually, because that's a lot of meat. 141. That's a lot of leftover meat. And I have 93 on me. There's no way I eat all that. Um, let me check. Where's my water? Oh. I have to refill it. Yep. Let me drink. Glug, glug, glug. Okay. That was it. Nice. Oh, was it the wood creaking from that, maybe? Some stuff in this game makes weird noises. Throws me for a loop. Um, so today I was gonna try to go... <laughs> why, they, why are they talking? Oh, they're like... Why not just stand in front of each other and talk? Why are you talking as if you're passing each other, telling each other a secret? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, wait, that was my wife that he was talking to. I didn't even notice how that. I was just you? looking at how funny she was standing. Hi. Seem to be running trouble Goodbye. free. Good. Let's check everyone's mood quick. I don't really know. No one's in the negatives, and that's good. Uh, of course, Gerard is doing better than everyone else. Okay. So, I think what we're going to do is, I honestly kind of wanted to go and try to get her that fish stew, or fish soup, whatever it was. Five. Alan has a little problem. Oh, I, yeah, I started that. Um, okay. So, I kind of wanted to try to get this whole bowl of soup thing. Now, there's a couple things <clears throat> that I know. One... Uh, that, that, uh, I have to kill a buffalo for it? Why isn't? I have to kill one, and I don't know if I can, to be honest. They're kind of scary, but I was told, or not told, I read that, um, Some people said if you build, like, a stick fence, for example, you can... If you build this fence, you can actually use the fence to... You can, like, basically hide inside of it, and then... You can, like, start shooting at a buffalo. And, oh, hang on, I'll just, I kind of want to look at this quick. I want to see what it takes to build it, because I'm going to assume it's the hammer. Yep, and then it's just sticks. Perfect. Um, what's the, what am I looking for? Um, destroy. Okay, so, it's just sticks, so I'm just going to pick up a few sticks. And then I will head out. I know I already have like a hundred and something, which is probably enough. But, so this is the plan. I've heard you can attack the buffalo, and then if you just get inside the fence of... Do I have another hammer? 
before I leave, I want to make sure I have another hammer in case this one breaks. I do, thank God. Okay, so... How many arrows do I have? I should have enough. I've got a couple iron arrows. I should have a lot of stone arrows. Yeah. Oh, what was the thing I found out? Yeah, you can combine arrows like that. Anyways. So... I lost my train of thought. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get there to where the I'm going to talk to the guy again because I lost all that progress uh, yesterday because I died to the wise end. So I'm going to get there. I'm going to find him, talk to him, go through all that again. I'm honestly probably just going to skip through it really quickly. I'm not going to read it all again. Um, I'm going to talk to him, get through everything. And then after he asked me to go hunt a wise end for him to get the skull, I'm going to go build that fence and sit inside of there. Now, I was told that apparently you need to make it decently large-ish because they um, they can still hit you through. They can hit you through the fence if you're standing too close to the edge, so you have to make it wide enough to where you can stand in the middle and not get hit. Now, I also don't know if they can break it uh, because <clears throat> the thing I read didn't really describe that too much. But it seems like a good way to take out a buffalo. It seems a little, in my opinion, it seems a little unfair to do that to take out one. Um, maybe that's just me, but it seems a little unfair. Like, maybe I can try to find another way to do it. Like, like I was kind of saying the other day, getting up high and trying something. Uh... Hey, there's a boar over there. But I don't know. I mean... We'll, we'll see. When I get there, we'll kind of... We'll kind of make a plan. I thought that was a fox. And then it, like, did the cat thing when cats are mad or whatever. They do, like, their... Um... You know, dogs growl and then cats do their little, uh... What do you call it? They also make some like low grumbling, grumbling guttural noise. This game is so calming. It honestly, this game is like Minecraft, in the sense of you can just like do a lot of stuff. You know, like this is like Minecraft survival. You can do a lot of stuff, build stuff, and then the music in the background is just so calming. Like. If I ever, like, just sit and listen to Minecraft's music, it takes me back, like, so hard. Like, it is insane how that Minecraft music just hits me, and I don't even realize it. Especially because, like, when I used to play Minecraft, I, like, don't really remember paying attention to the music that much. But now I hear it, and I'm like, whoa... Like, what's up with that, bro? It's kind of crazy. Not many other games, sounds and stuff have uh, affected me that much. But Minecraft. Minecraft music is nice. Ooh. I remember I hit this on the way. On the first time. There's a bunch of clay here and a shovel, which I will take. Give me, give me, give me. I can't take the shovel. There we go. There's clay. I think this had apples. Yeah. And there was more clay, wasn't there? There was another... I thought there was another clay. Ah, there it is. Nice. These rock things I can hit with a pickaxe, but honestly, I got people who collect stone for me back in the village, so I should be good. I can't believe I made this whole ass walk yesterday just to die to a buffalo like an idiot. I will... Sometimes when I hear that, I think there's a snake. I will, however, save this time. So that if I do just so happen to die again, I won't be all the way back before, you know, Denica or whatever. Is that the name of that town? Yeah. Oh, you think I can kill that thing? No arrows? What do you mean, no arrows? I have arrows. Oh, but they're not equipped. Hold on. I unequipped them so that they would all um, come together. 
Where are my arrows? They're there. I missed. I missed and I lost the arrow. Cool. Oh, I can hit this too. Interesting. You know, at one point in time when I was playing this game before I started streaming it, I was trying to run up to certain rocks and hit them with a pickaxe. Because I thought, you know, maybe it's like Ark where you can just run up to like any kind of rock and hit it. It uh, apparently is not like Ark in that sense. I go right here. Hang on. I do have to look at the map. I remember. I, I do stay right. And then I take this left path. Is that a wolf? No joke, I'm only fighting this thing. Oh, thank God. Ooh, that got really close. Remember when I said calming, soothing, stuff like that? Take it all back. That was not calming or soothing. That was terrifying. That guy got really, really close. Literally, the only reason I did that, though, was because I wanted to loot this. More clay. Interesting. Is there more stuff on this side? No. Give me this stick. This stick. Please have money. Damn it. Ooh, but mead. Mead sells for a lot. That's, a, that's better than money. Anything else? I'm not going to travel too far. Obviously, this area has wolves. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else just heard that, but I definitely heard that. This area has wolves. So. I wonder if you can build some kind of shield-like thing. Like in Ark, you can build like straight up a shield to like fight fight off little dinosaurs or whatever. Um, I even think that the shield, I think, can actually block like big dinosaurs too temporarily but I wonder if you could do that to like fight off wolves or if there's just like the cudgel and stuff wait is that a wise end it is there's a buffalo out here also wolves. Do I test my theory? With the do I test the fence thing? I think what I should do. Here's what I'll do. Save game. Okay, we've saved. Right? Yep. Let's test a theory. So just really hope that it can't get through either way. It's really nice of this uh, buffalo to give me the time to build this. Okay, let's... I have a really bad feeling this isn't going to work. Well, that's more arrows than I got off on it last time. Okay, okay. He's running, which means he's hurt, which is actually good. Because that means he's almost dead. Nope, I can't do that. I have no stamina. I'll miss. I'm not going to lie, I really thought it was coming back to charge me. Yes. That 
worked. That was so good. So good. Alright. Now, again, that still seems really unfair to me. That, uh, that that works like that. But I'm definitely going to use that if I ever find a bear. <laughs> because, uh... Yeah. Also, it helps if you build it correctly and not like an idiot like I did. But hey, I'm going to get my... I'm going to get this back. So you don't get... When you destroy stuff, you don't get all your sticks back. You'll notice I'm only getting two back per one, and it took four to build them. You only get 50% of your stuff back. Which, I mean, that's fine, I guess. For stuff like sticks, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Alright. Also, I guess I didn't count how many arrows that took. It was... Five? Maybe just four? I honestly don't remember. Where's the road? Back this way? Yep, here's the road. So, yeah, about four arrows, I think I'd say that took. Um, is there a river right here? Oh, there is. I'm going to drink the water out of the stream instead of... out of my water skin. Let's drink. Nice. I had someone say to me on a stream the other day, you can just drink right out of the dirty water. And I was like, well, it's a flowing stream. You know, it's a flowing river back in a day when water wasn't as easily, you know, like we don't, they didn't pollute water like we do nowadays. So it's actually like nice, clean water out here in the open. You know, you might think like, oh, like there's animals that go in it and stuff like that. But it's, it's clean, flowing water. You know, the dirty stuff gets washed away anyway. And you can see that it's like actively flowing, which means it's it's good. Honestly, I should probably get back to the road. I was then again, I always did think that the road was safest because of because uh, I felt like animals wouldn't want to stay near the road. Similar to real life, animals don't like being near roads because humans. Um, but at least they try to be try to avoid it. But. You know, it's kind of a neat thing. Um, I live in South Dakota. Around here, hunting is a really big thing. I'm not much of a hunter, but it is a big thing around here, so I know a little, you know, I know about it. I've gone hunting before, but I've never actually shot anything. I shot at some pheasants one time, but boy, howdy, did I not know how to aim. Um, I'm a little better now. With clay pigeons, I'm pretty accurate, but pheasants are a little more unpredictable than, a, you know, a clay pigeon that is set to throw and basically go the same way. But anyway... Uh, we've, so around South Dakota, um, it's kind of a weird thing with deer. During hunting season, deer have a tendency to stay near roads or, like, houses and stuff because there are laws preventing people from, you know, um, shooting a firearm within certain, I forget the distance, to be honest with you, but it's within a certain distance of a road or a home. Like, if you want to go deer like deer hunting, you kind of have to be out, not in the middle of nowhere, and you can be on private property and do it, or you can be on property of, you know, if you get uh, permission from a farmer, you can go out on their land and hunt, and you can shoot a lot closer to the home than normal. But like, uh, but like, people have noticed that nowadays the deer have like they know when hunting season is coming so they flock a lot closer to the roads which everyone's like <clears throat> everyone was like why does it seem you know why does it seem like deer always towards you know too close to a road or a house or whatever when i want to shoot them and i'm like well that's because deer have learned like yeah they're not exactly the smartest of animals but animals are going to realize a pattern if it's been happening for you know how long and if they've found a way to survive is by sitting near roads. Obviously, they're going to do it. So, just a neat thing thought I'd mention from someone who lives in a state where, you know, hunting and tourism is, like, the main freaking export in this state. 
I like this little path that they have down to their fishing hut. It's way cooler than mine. I honestly wish I had any sort of design sense whatsoever. What is that out there? Oh, that's a person! That's a guy out there with a stick. Oh, can I hit this fish with a bow and arrow? Hold on. Bow fishing. Oh my god, did I hit it? Oh, I picked up the pipe. Oh, <gasps> cool. Um, okay, I think I did this the last time I was here. I'm actually going to grab some of this reed. Just because it's free and not near where I live, so. And I really honestly don't want to have to make a trip back here eventually. Or later, so. However, I do kind of need to get going with this. Because I don't know how long it's going to actually take me to find and kill another buffalo. I know that they're not that far away um, from yesterday's experience. They're just on the other side of the lake. Um, also, I need to look up... Can you build fishing rods in this game? I would have to assume that you can. Or do you go gra get them with a spear? Or... Hmm, ducks. Alright, Roland. Alright, I'm skipping past all this stuff. Oh, oops. Alright, thanks. I also like that the game the game is like, oh, here, we know that we sent you all the way out here just to get stuff for your wife. Um, so she gives you 200 coin to pay for the stuff, and then he gives you 200 coin as well uh, because you con him out of them, which is kind of neat of the game, or, you know, of the devs to be like, here, since you probably don't live anywhere near this town and had to walk really far, and because you have to hunt a buffalo. <laughs> I know that in the game they're called Wizen. I'm going to continue calling them Buffalo. I just want you all to know that. Unless it's not Buffalo. What's, another, what's the other term? Bison? Is that the other one? I don't know. I'm not a big animal guy. I'm a computer dude. <laughs> Alright, so I think if I just follow this, there's that bridge that I passed on my way into town. I think if I just go back to that bridge, I have so many sticks. I think if I just go back to that bridge and cross it, there should honestly be some buffalo right on the other side. Now I have to Google it. Hold on. My curiosity is getting the better of me. A wisent is a European bison. So it is a bison. Okay. Interesting. Now I'm looking at the difference between a bison and a buffalo. I'm very curious about this. Bison have large humps on their shoulders and bigger heads than buffalo. Oh, so it is originally called a bison. We just call it a buffalo because we're from North America and we like to do that with things. <laughs> we just like coming up with terms <laughs> instead of using the original. Yeah, so it's actually called a bison, for sure. The American West from the Atlantic. They called the bison buffalo. So the reason that we call bison in America buffalo is literally because... 
people used to come. I just, I li literally just Googled this, and it's on, like, the Yellowstone uh, National Park website. Is that where I was just looking? Hold on. Yeah, it's on the CodyYellowstone.org. They say that essentially the reason we call them buffalo in North America instead of bison is because it's technically a bison. But when people came over to America, the bison around here look like African buffalo, which apparently the buffalo originates from like Africa, Asia area. So it is technically a bison. That is the correct term. But we call it a buffalo because it does not look like the average bison, apparently. So, I grew up calling it a buffalo. I think I'm going to continue calling it a buffalo. Um, or maybe I'll just call it a wizened. Who knows? We'll see what happens. I'm probably going to be really wishy-washy on what I call it. Um, and wizened, I don't know if I said this, it's literally just another term for bison. It's just a European bison is uh, the thing. Sorry if I bored anyone with animal facts. I find thing I like learning new things, and the fact that I've been seeing these buffalo for my entire freaking life, you know, I see them all over the place. There's a town not that far away from me where there's a guy who owns a buffalo, like, ranch. So every time you drive into town, you can see all his buffalo over on the side of the road. But just like cows. His buffalo, like, people keep cows. So, this, the game did just say I discovered a Wizent area. Yeah, they should be up here to the left. So, I just need to find them. Hey, there it is. <laughs> What's that? That's a lynx, right? So I have nothing to worry about? Okay, it's just a lynx. There's that buffalo. I just had to make sure it wasn't something bigger and scary. Or something bigger and scarier than a lynx. So I think the Wizent only attack if you attack them. I don't know if they attack just if you get near. But I don't fully want to risk it by getting too close either. So I don't know. They don't exactly seem like happy creatures to me. Hello. Yes, yes, you sound very pissed off. I hear you. Please don't attack me. Please don't attack me. I'm not even trying to hurt you. Let's start over here. I can't hit this damn thing. Don't. Don't. I'm not trying to attack you. Yep. I will, however, very soon shoot an arrow at you. And kapooey! This thing moves erratically. Jesus. Can I hit it? I can shoot through the fence. Are you kidding? The other one that's here is going to get pissed at me. I don't know where the other one went. God, I hope it's not following me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where'd it go? Oh, thank God. I really thought it was going to attack me. Alright, let's skin him. No joke, I really thought it was just going to turn around and attack me right there. And my knife broke. Wait, I didn't get the skull? Moose skull. Wizen skull. Why did I not get it? Deliver to Roland a Wizen skull. 
So why didn't I get that skull to deliver to him? What? I did it. I killed one. Skinned him. Why didn't I get the skull? Hold on. Google. How to get wizened skull. It's completely random. It's a completely random thing. So, apparently, it's not going to work. And So, I have to find another one and kill it. Damn it, bro. There's one. I need to find my fence again. Please just leave me alone temporarily. <laughs> oh. Here's my fence, right? Just right up here. Okay, there it is. Now, where's that buffalo? I'm going to kind of take a pot shot at it. Oh, I pissed it off. Thanks, game, for auto saving rate as this thing was charging. Where'd he go? Jump over the fence. Don't fall. Okay, so what I saw was someone saying that apparently you save here. Sorry, sending a text message. Okay, so you save here before you skin it. And then when you skin it, you have a chance to get the skull. But I didn't get one. So now somebody said apparently if I just reload that save to right before I skinned it, um, the game determines whether you're going to get the skull while you skin it. So That's a really cool picture. I just noticed there's like a person watching in the background. No joke, if I walked up on two bears fighting like this, I definitely would not be standing that close as that person is in this picture. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, dear. Hold on, let me try this again. I'm going to save here, actually, now, so that if... The uh, buffalo doesn't fall again. Wise end. Ugh. The hell was that noise? Cool. Uh, so I didn't get it that time either. Honestly, I'm just going to wait and do it again. Um, well, let's try one more time. Hold on. I'm going to try one more time. We'll just see. Because like I said, apparently it's random, but I want to... Just test a theory, because if it does work, then that is kind of a neat thing, but... I like this picture, too. This game has some really good pictures. I like the art style they have for, like, these pictures and some of the cutscenes. <clears throat> I 
<laughs> that one hint just said fields can only be aligned with the uh, north, south, east, and west uh, compass. I think it has to be aligned that way. It's the law, is what the game said. What is that right there? Please be a lynx. Please be a lynx. Please be a lynx. I think it is. Okay. Okay, that deer just randomly spawned out of nowhere. Cool. Alright. I don't like where I'm at. Also, I came all the way down to the other side of this mountain just to get this freaking buffalo. Son of a... Ah, shit. I'm gonna have to walk around. I don't trust walking around in the middle of the night. Is this the way I want to go? This is the way I want to go. I especially don't like it because I can't see anything. Okay, I think I'm heading towards the lake. So I think... I wonder, if I get back to the village, is there somewhere I can sleep? Can I just go into someone's house and sleep in their bed? Is that a thing I can do? Because honestly, I'm about to try it. Do you think that the people who live in this village that work in, like, the fishing hut area, the people who, um... Like, go down in the water with spears and fish. Do you think that they... Um, do you think when they have to go to the bathroom that they just pee in the water? Or do you think that they... Uh, actually, like, get up and out? You know, because, like, that's also got to be their drinking water, so... Can I sleep in someone's house here? Let's find out. Um, if I just walk into this house and I walk up here. No, I cannot. Damn it. Hmm. That's quite depressing. Why are you guys sitting around not a fire? I wonder how long it takes for nighttime to end. I've never I've never done it. Uh Mm, shit. I also can't believe I killed two of them and never got any... Dang. I never got any... a skull. Um, well, I'm here. There's gotta be someone in this village I can sell this stuff to, right? Actually, here, everyone's asleep. Why don't I rob them? A bucket. Do I want to rob them? I really honestly don't want to. The only time I ever... You're kidding. It brought me all the way back home. No. Cabbages. Oh, look at this stuff. Interesting. Okay. <gasps> My trees are coming in. Plum tree, plum tree. That's a plum tree, too. Don't I have more trees? Here we go. This is my apple tree, right? Yeah, look at my little trees. Aw. These cabbages are ready to be harvested, uh, but that's what the farm people are going to do. And I don't think I have any more fertilizer for them. Oops. Anyways, uh, this is the last season I have to go get that stuff for my wife, so I am going to have to run right back there and try again. Maybe while I'm there, I'll find someone to sell this to. I have two cherry wine. <gasps> Dude, I'm going to be rolling in money here in a bit. How much meat did I get? Meat. Uh, how much leather did I get from the... Those buffalo. I got quite a bit. Actually, hold on. I have a lot of this 50% meat here. Um, I might just run back here, throw the 50% meat 
not my cooked meat, but the uncooked meat, and throw it in here. Because it'll turn into rot, and then I can use that rot to make fertilizer. And there's 215 meat. Holy tits. Um, you guys good on buckets of water? Look good. Let me just... Hold on. I get... I'm protective of my people, okay? So I need to now give them more water or I'm gonna freak out. Uh, and then we're gonna go hunt some more buffalo. Shit. That's not the right place. I can't believe that I killed two buffalo and didn't get a single... Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Didn't get a single skull. Okay. Let's go. And I have to run all the way back there. Oh, goodness gracious, bro. Man, what am I even gonna do? Hold on. I've got two things telling me that they're not producing anything. Smithy, what are you out of? No resources. What resource? Sticks? It's okay. There's people that are going to do that. Here in the woodshed. They're going to get you sticks. You're supposed to be grabbing a lot of sticks. I honestly can't even believe that you're out. Let's drop this. Up this. There we go. <clears throat> They'll get you sticks. That'll go away. Once they really get into the swing of working. Uh, real quick, let me look at the map. Nope, I want the animal one. Where'd they go? Okay. Is there anywhere I can hunt buffalo on the way? Um, just there. Oh, it went away. Is it because there were only two and I killed both of them? Mm, well, there's some here. So, I guess I'll go there quick. Can I set a waypoint? Yeah. So we'll go to that waypoint first. That's where I that's where I killed Oh I killed three! Because that's where I killed that first one. In the attempt to see if the fence thing worked. Bro This game is rigged against me. They don't want me collecting these skulls. Also I like how I upgraded the thing to make it so when I run, um it's supposed to be using less stamina. I feel like it does, but I honestly still kind of feel like it uses a lot. Maybe that's just me. <clears throat> also, I kind of wish this game had a thing like Ark. Um, I know I'm comparing this to Ark a lot, but the game honestly does kind of remind me of it sometimes. Um... Where in Ark, you can change if you have, like, a server. Because, like, I had a server that I played on with friends um, that I paid for. And it was... I guess we paid for. I wasn't the only one. But uh, for that server, you could go in and change the settings to make it so when you pick something up, you actually got times two. Which was kind of nice sometimes... Uh, especially for starting out. Later on, it gets a touch annoying because then you just have a bunch of crap that you have to find somewhere to put. But, uh... Hail, friend. How much is it for you to get me to where I'm trying to go? 320? Have That's not day. worth it. I'm sorry. I considered it, but 320 is a lot just to go somewhere. Honestly, at this point, I should buy a damn horse. How much traveling these guys make me do. But then I need someone to take care... I need to take care of it. I've got to make sure it has food and stuff like that. So, maybe not. I don't even know what it takes to make animal feed. I know you can make animal feed in the barn. But I honestly don't know what it takes to make that animal feed. Isn't this just so calming? Imagine going on a nice, lovely nature walk in a, in a rain, 
in the rain. Like, I mean, obviously, imagine you had an umbrella or something, but, like, just... Just the sound of it is so cool. It's so awesome. In real life, I honestly probably wouldn't even use an umbrella. I would probably just put a jacket on and walk. Sorry, had to readjust my headset. What? Don't. That's what I thought. You would regret it if you had attacked me, you stupid wolf. Did I miss my turn? Oh shit, I did. New building unlocked. Donkey shelter. Okay, that's cool. But why did I just randomly unlock that? <gasps> that card's already gone. Oh, it's a new season. Oh, that's right, it's a new season. I should be watching the sides of the road for cards and stuff. Every new season, there's, like, new cards and stuff like that, so... Um, also... It's... Right... Right around here is where I found that first buffalo, right? There, that's one, isn't it? Correct, Richard. Alright. Two, three. So I've been opting for the four fence long one. Uh, and I'm going to keep doing that because I want to keep this thing as far away from me as I can whilst I hunt it. It's a little dumb that you can't just connect it like that. But whatever. And broken. Yep. Knew that hammer was going to break right there. Oh, there's both buffalo. I wonder if I can just get them both over here and attack them both at once. This honestly still feels like cheating to me. But I really honestly can't think of any other alternatives for fighting these things. So. This is what I'm going to do. Wait, where'd they go? There's the one. You know I made him big. Ah. Let's be sure to get him in the ah. noggin. Is he, did he go down? I think I'm going to skin this one, take a shot at that one, and then I'm going to run away really fast. Please give me your skull. Yeah, no, my farmers have nothing to do. That's fine. I have a feeling that even if I missed him, he would come running at me. Ooh, look, I got him up in the shoulder, too. Honestly, the fact that you can take these things out with arrows is insane to me, because I've heard stories of people, like, trying to shoot buffalo, and, uh, them, like, falling down stunned, but then getting back up. So. But I suppose if you hit them in the right spot, you know, they could do it. Dude. <laughs> I have now killed five of these things. And nothing. Are there any more around here? Probably not. Ooh, arrows. Probably not. I probably wiped them suckers out of existence. I've got all sorts of people in my town are running out of frickin' jobs. What? Uh, yeah, you're... You have no resources, that's fine. You still don't have any... What are you out of here? Sticks, you're still out of sticks, that's fine. You still have other stuff you can make that don't require sticks. No one works there. And you don't have a tool? Oh my goodness. 
honestly, we should be good for a day. We should be fine for one day. Let me go. So, are there really no more buffalo down here? Or what's up with that? I'm not going to lie, I forgot where my fence area is. There it is. Okay. <gasps> There's one. Hey. Oh, he wasn't even chasing me. I must have missed him. Hold on, let me get some stamina back. Got him! Shit, 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 Oh, goodness, that guy got real close. Yeah, you probably didn't like that, did you? Sorry, my friend. Uh, yeah. Did I get him? Yeah, I was going to say, I thought I saw another arrow drop to the ground. Oh, two! Nifty. Hold on, let me get some stamina back, and then we'll go. Okay. Please. Okay, I'm going to try the whole save game thing one more time. Please tell me I get your skull. Dude. <laughs> Do I need like a better knife or something? Like what? I'm honestly not sure if this still works. I just checked on Reddit, and some people were saying a while back that it still works, but that was a while ago, so... I'm gonna try just a few times. I don't have the patience to sit here and try for... Some of those people were saying they tried for like two hours. That's ridiculous. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna sit here and try for two whole hours, but I'll try a few times. We'll see if this works. Very fitting picture to show me, game. Thank you. Really rude of you to be like, hey, you know that thing that you need a skull for? Here, we're going to flaunt it in front of you. <sighs> they really are cool looking creatures, though. Please just give me your skull. Oh, I got it. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I got to take that. Marker off my map, or it's gonna drive me crazy. Thank you. Let's go. Where's the road? 
That's actually what I was running towards. Oh, it's literally right here. I just had to go a little further. Nice. Um, yeah, we'll just keep going. Oh, a cart. Is that a boomerang? Oh, it's a copper sickle. Okay. Flat straw hat. What's in here? Rye. Nice. Okay. Must have been some kind of farmer's cart. That's fine. I can give this copper, copper sickle to my farmers, too, when I get back. Um, looking for other carts. Or maybe abandoned camps. The abandoned camps are a touch harder to see. Because people don't set up the camps next to the road. They have a tendency to set them up a little ways away. so Which is understandable. I feel like that's something people used to do back in these times anyway, was like actually set them up a little ways from the road so that uh, people just wandering the road wouldn't s easily spot them. Not like people were always doing illegal things back then, but... Just a hunch. I mean, I wouldn't set up right next to the road. I wouldn't set up too far in either, uh, but... And I know there's not going to be any behind me, because that's a lake. So. I am kind of looking out for the white of a tent, though. Which, honestly, I may have just seen one, but whatever. Like, I probably did pass by one at some point in time on this adventure, but who cares. There we go. They must have got sticks in there because a bunch of stuff just went down. And if a bunch of that went down, that means he pro or he made a knife because he is working on knives, which means the hunters got their knife. And yeah, we're fine. Okay, so it is just the farmers now that are waiting on stuff. Um, I'm gonna come drink this quick. See, look, that guy, he's been in that water. Is he swimming? What's he doing? Uh, rolling. I got you a Wizent skull. A new face, hello. <laughs> are you kidding me? Are you sure? You're the one with the wife that loves me. Man, just give me the bloody soup already. Here, I'll even pour another bowl for free. Taste it. A secret I'll bring with me to my grave. I must say, I thought you were a fraud, but I'm impressed. Although I still think you might have a gambling problem. Nonsense. I bet you I can stop whenever I want. Um. Actually, yeah, I could use a guy like him. Aw, I appreciate it, honestly. I've been kind of lost coming back to the valley after all these years. My family is long gone. I've been trying to... I would love to join you. Thanks. Well, I mean, we'll take him. Why not? Um... This does mean that I have to build another house. <laughs> Shit. Can't he just flirt up one of the girls who lives here so he can live with them? <laughs> Come on, Roland. Oh, I didn't mean to jump in that bucket. I need someone who is willing to buy things from me here so that I can sell them what I have. Get out of my face. Oh, that's a jeweler. Jewelers sell their stuff for Hi, so much money. Best goods in the valley. Best goods in the valley. Mm. I don't know about that, but we'll see. Um, 144... 168. Alright. I know that's not what it says they sell for, but that's because my diplomacy is not super high. But that's okay. Doesn't have to be. Um, is there anything else I can sell you? An iron hoe for 102? Honestly, I might do that because, um, these things are shit. <laughs> I mean, like, the wooden hoe 
does the job just fine, so. I did it. I might regret it later, but I doubt I will. 75 meat is only worth 1.8, and roasted meat is worth 1.5. I guess it's partially degraded, though, so that would make sense as to why it's a touch cheaper. Linen thread, 30. I'm pretty sure I bought the linen thread for 70. See you soon. Thanks. Um, so what do we have for coins now? 1199.6. That's honestly fantastic. Um... Do I walk the whole way back now, or do I just kind of mess around until the game auto-spawns me back at home? Because it's, like, nighttime, so I could really just mess around for a while. Is anyone in here? You guys don't have that much stuff, and I don't want to rob people. Never mind, I won't do it. Unless you guys have fishing spears, I might actually steal fishing spears from you. No joke, because they are just kind of hard for me to make. Oh. Well, I can't rob anything with this guy here. Well, that's how I know it's not nighttime then, because that guy's still here. Hey. Hello, traveler. Hi. Whatever you need, I've got it. Okay. Salt. I can just buy salt. Mines from salt deposits found in caves. So that means that there are caves you can explore? Goodbye. Like, there's gotta be. How can I help you? Only the best products here. I can buy fishing spears. Wow, they're expensive. <laughs> uh, so are the fish. Damn. Have a good day. I can sell a pike for seven coin, but I have to buy one for 35. Now that just seems ridiculous. What is that? Is that a person again? Or is it a duck? It's a person. With a fishing spear. I can see him out there trying to spear something. Um, yeah. So, what do I do now? Do I just mess around until the game puts me back? Honestly, you know what I could do? I could run around and cut some of the trees down in this area. Get some stuff. I do have a backup axe. Ooh, gosh, my stone knife almost broke in the process of cutting up all those... Buffalo. Was struggling. Uh, let me talk to this person. How can I help you? Only Show the best where. products here. All this stuff is so expensive. 1400 for a jewelry box? Goodness. Goodbye. Hello, traveler. Hi. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, let's see. Honestly, let's just, like, maybe run back. Actually, I want to see what this building is. Is this someone's house? Or is this, uh... Oh, this is their food storage. Why is their food storage, like, up on a platform? Interesting. Um, you know what I could do, now that I think about it? I have some time. I could run to Hornica. Just because I want to see what it looks like, I'm gonna. I'm gonna run to Hornica. Because I've never never been over there, and I... I mean, now that I know that the game's just gonna respawn me in bed after waiting for so long... Um... Screw it. Let me really quickly eat a little. Oh gosh, my bow is almost broken. Luckily I have to back up. 
I did see a hint earlier while I was reloading for that. Why isn't, um, speaking of, I'm going to save quick. Um, but I did see a thing that said, uh, meat doesn't really fill you. You need vegetables to have a really good, uh, balanced diet or, uh, you need vegetables to not have to eat so often, something like that. And I was like, oh, dang, good thing I'm growing some cabbage and can now make that cabbage, whatever it was, cabbage soup. Well, this area looks kind of cool. I'm on the right road, right? Hold on. Yeah. Uh, this area, I think I am going to stick to the road because it appears to be a lot of rocky mountains and hills and stuff. And I don't... I don't want to end up somewhere that I can fall off a cliff. That's, like, to be completely honest, that's what it is. I don't want to end up somewhere I'll fall off a cliff. This area would be really nice to make a town, actually. Or it would be kind of nice to make a town. You got this big kind of flattish area over here, and then you could build on both sides of the road. The only issue is there's no water. <clears throat> so you can't have, like, a fishing hut or anything. Oh, but we might be able to solve that by this lake. Let's find out. Keep going. Yeah, I do think that similar to Civilization... It is a good thing to settle near a body of water, specifically fresh water, uh, if you can. But I guess in Civ you can settle near either, really. You get benefits from both. There's a spot, I think, if you play on the True Earth, the Earth map. Uh, there's a spot in, like, the on North America that's actually a really good place to spawn. <clears throat> in Civ 6. But, anyways, look at that. A place for duck, a place for perch. There's some deer up over here. This would actually be kind of a neat spot. Huh. But where? Because my thought would be up here on this platform and have somewhere where the road... You build, like, one of the little dirt roads or gravel roads that you can build coming off. Coming off the main road out into the village. That'd be kind of cool. Gustovia, Hornica, Jezerica. We need to go this way. Oops. Oh, something must have happened back at the village. It must be like the end of the work day or something because all my stuff up top just disappeared. So, well, not all of it, but the work related stuff disappeared, so. Hello, hello, hey Lucas. God, how far away is this place? Oh, we're coming up on it. I'll sprint there, so... I was walking just to kind of enjoy the view, but I'll sprint a little. Gosh, look at those trees. <laughs> those spruce trees are really bending. I made it. Nice! I am streaming a little later than I usually do. Uh, in the mornings, because I don't work today. So, usually I would be at work as of ten minutes ago, but I don't work today, so here I am. Whoa! Okay, for starters, these people have way cooler buildings. They have stone buildings. Interesting. Hello. Who are you? Stranger. Welcome to you later. Have you played the new season of Dragon Ball Breakers? I have not yet. Not since Ginyu came out. No, I haven't. I really do need to, though. Um, but I've heard that apparently Ginyu's really broken. 
is what I've been hearing. Um, apparently he's like actually really, really broken. Which seems like it could be a problem, but I haven't played it yet, so maybe it's not as big of a deal. It's kind of fire. Yeah, I did hear it's pretty good. Like I said, heard he was a little broken, but I've also heard it was actually that it's actually pretty good so far, so I feel like I should check it out sometime soon. Let me just break into this person's house. Look how cool their house looks, all, all stone. Like, this is like the house I used to live in, the simple house. Or not the simple house, but the house or whatever. I don't want the game to die. I honestly don't either. I don't know what they need to do to make it not die. Like, they need to make some changes, but... Not 100% sure what. Oh, look, their seamstress thing is a whole building. Mine isn't. There's no items in here. I like this place. They have some cool stuff going on. Is this a donkey hut? <gasps> is that a little horsey? Oh, they're little horsies. Oh, I wish I had the money to buy a horse. Look at how little they are. Oh, or you can buy a full grown horse. How much is a full grown horse? 9,800? Bro, I am broke as shit in this game. <laughs> Every time I see anything, it costs so much money. <laughs> My god. Just look at these little houses, though. Look at how cool they are. Oh, there's... Are you shooting up heroin in here? Okay. Carry on my wayward son. What is happening? Hold on. I can't read the stuff on the right because sometimes my stream breaks and I can see all the chat messages over on the right side. <laughs> Don't you cry no more. Do you want me to get some help? Just wait for me in the fire. Hello, do you hear me? Wait in the fire, 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 wait in the fire. What even is happening? I am so confused. What is wrong with that person? Why are they singing songs that in this time, point in time the game takes place in wouldn't have come out yet. Oops. Is there a fire here? Why is there light coming out of this but there's no actual fire? Am I the only one that notices that? If I stand on it, does it hurt me? No, look at me. W game. <laughs> Honestly, this game is pretty good and that little... That little bit there with the crazy person, kind of cool. What do you sell? It's nice to meet you. Best goods in the valley. Best goods in the valley. I will be the judge of that. They sell water skins with water for 238 coins. Dude, see you soon. I really need to get better at haggling. Like, I need to like get a better diplomacy so I can haggle with people because they sell their stuff for way too much. Also, I want to build these in my village. Um, I don't 100% know what they're under. Uh, I kind of thought it was furnitures and decoration, campfire, lighting. Ah, oh, yes, it's in here. Log, leather stick, wool thread. Jesus. I'm glad you haven't seen my streams on the PlayStation. I sound like a little kid. Honestly, <clears throat> when I go back and listen to myself on streams, I sound, I feel like I sound a little younger than I truly am. But, I don't know. Maybe that's just kind of how I always sound. I just don't really know. But I do understand what you mean. A well. Oh, I can't drink from their well. Rude. I can't see anything. Jesus. This game is so dark. This is their barn? No, resource storage. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to take anything. 
Can the game hurry up and turn to daytime so that I can both see and be home? Do I have to click my heels together? Close my eyes, click my heels together, and say, There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Oh, I forgot to click. Click. There's no place like home. Click. There's no place like home. Click. There's no place like home. I thought maybe if I drew it out, it would actually work. <clears throat> it didn't. I can't. How do you get up into this place? I want to sit here and wait till daytime. Look at this. I like this. I want to build this tavern. I think it's in not storages. Is it not production? Oh no, it is production. But I don't know how to get not enough technology. I don't know how to get that technology. Like I've I'm honestly not 100% sure. Survival tech. Is it it was in production, right? See, it's literally like the last thing. I have to get all this other stuff first. Develop this technology by crafting items and cooking. Discover new schemes. So I just have to, like, craft and cook new items and stuff, like, all the time. Also, I hate that you have to buy every single little thing in here, in the technologies. Kind of bothersome, not gonna lie. Is there anybody here? No! Damn, I'm not gonna lie. If they'd have had wine, I actually would have stolen it. Or, like, the meat or anything like that. I actually would have stolen it because that stuff sells for so much money. Which might seem like a terrible thing. But I don't live near these people. <laughs> I'm, like, honestly, I'm probably never going to come back to this village again, so... Where's their food storage? Uh, this is the horses. That's a house, that's a house. This is... I think somebody's house. This is the tavern. Yep. Ah, uh, that's their food storage right here. I think I've already been in here. Didn't I come in here earlier? Yeah, and they didn't have anything. Ugh, you people are not very accommodating of thieves. I didn't take anything. You all saw it. There was nothing in that chest to take. Can I go home yet, game? I feel like the last time that it was nighttime and I was waiting... It didn't take this long. Maybe it did, and I was just running around a lot more. But I feel like it didn't. That's just me. Okay, I am back. I had to explain to my girlfriend that I don't work today, because it is, in fact, a holiday recognized at my work. So. So she thought I was slacking, which is an understandable thing to think. Bro, can it turn daytime yet? Oh my goodness. 
I just want to be home. I gotta sing that Sandy Cheek song. I wanna go home. That's not how I Im imagine she sings it, because I've seen the episode. She sings it pretty well, but that's how I sing it. <laughs> also, I want to steal one of these horses. Can I steal one? It's nighttime. I can steal other things. Can I just steal this little colt and just run away? I should empath Colt. Not colt. Colt. Like, the horse. Kid, please. Please, game. Please make it daytime. Okay, now I'm nervous that the only reason it teleported me home was because it was the end of the season and not the end of the night. Oh dear. Should, do I start running home? <laughs> I, I, Jesus, there's like so many billions of winding roads here. I go out, I go left, that way, straight. What? Who's that? Oh, that's the the dude. Roland, that's his name. Okay, well, I guess we'll just start running. I'm not gonna lie, I really kind of thought that it would already have reset me, but uh, whatever. Is this a mushroom? Mind if I pick that? Thanks, feller. How can I help you? So expensive. See you soon. Ugh. I honestly just need to buy a freaking horse. I need to find a way to make money in this game, and then I just need to buy a horse. That's what I need to do. Alright, let's see <clears throat> where this winding road leads. I kept hearing some weird ass noises. I was like, what's that? It's just some foxes and stuff. And a deer! Howdy, Mr. Deer. <clears throat> so I think the things that are green won't attack you. I think if you attack them, they just run away. Then I think the things that are like that orangish color will attack, but only if you attack first. Then, <clears throat> then uh, the red stuff will attack if you do get too close, which is exactly what's about to happen with this wolf right here. I genuinely don't want to be attacked by a wolf. Please don't notice me, Mr. Wolf. Uh, damn, there's so many rabbits around here. Mushrooms. There's so many rabbits. There's rabbits galore. There's so many rabbits here. It reminds me of that island that's full of guinea pigs. Um, I don't remember where that island is or even the name of it, but I do remember that there is... There is an island that's full of guinea pigs. Like, wild guinea pigs. Which is weird, because guinea pigs in the wild seem strange. <clears throat> I need to go this way. Dang, dude, really thought it'd become daytime. Don't, don't, don't do it. Please, God. 
I'm a dead man, 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 I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh, he went away. Oh, thank God. That was a bear, by the way. For the, those of you that didn't gather, that was a bear. <laughs> I got more scared of seeing that bear than I did most of the things that tried to kill me in Subnautica. There's a bear. Now, I'm an idiot. My curiosity is getting the better of me. Let's try a thing. Uh, oh gosh, I can't, hold on. Get a good range on where this sucker is. Alright, let's aim higher. I think I'm hitting him. See, it looks like he's, he's bleeding. He's just not moving. Is it running away from me? Or is it trying to get to me? In this thing before the game does possibly reset the day. Holy shit. Dude, I killed a freaking bear. I feel badass. That was epic. How many people can say that they've killed a bear? You know what I mean? That was so cool. I mean, to be fair, it was not exactly the most impressive uh, way to kill a bear, but I did it. So essentially what I did there too, how I got up high and was like on a spot where he couldn't get me, that's what I was saying I needed to do with the buffalo. But I couldn't quite... Accomplish. These are just birds. Okay. Yeah, fly away, birdies. I can't believe that I killed... I stopped. I'm honestly still shook, shook at the fact that that thing scared the hell out of me. I couldn't even see it properly. 
hold on. I gotta, I gotta do something. This game is so pretty. And like a, like I, like I've said before, it's not even in. It's not even like super pretty in like a. It's not even like it's super pretty in like a graphically astounding kind of game because like you'll notice when you're like looking at stuff in the distance, your textures are loading funny and you know like obviously it doesn't like look super realistic or anything, but like it's just I don't know it's just so nice and the sounds in the game are great. Look at the light. Just the lighting. Like, I know that, like, obviously the shadows aren't, like, crazy or anything. Actually, I just noticed the shadows are, in fact, moving with the stuff. Do the shadows move with the trees? Come here, trees. Need to use you guys as reference points. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a deer. It's a couple deer. Anyway. It's just, I don't know. It's literally becoming daytime. It took me so long... Yeah, okay, so it only sent me home because it was the change of the season. That's good to know. Uh, well, I officially spent my first night ever not in my village. And I almost got killed by a bear. <laughs> oh, God. This game, bro. Uh, hey, I cut those down. Here, cuckoo bird. It was literally going cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Crazy. I still have to go visit visit Sambor and everything. Like I literally, there's so much of the like just random story stuff that I haven't done. But I just went through all of that to get my wife fish soup. Can we talk about that for a second? All that shit I just did was to get my wife fish soup. And if she doesn't like it, I might throw my controller. Not really. I'm not really going to throw my controller, but I am going to be very upset. Um, it's still technically morning, isn't it? So no one's even awake yet. Hey, honey. If I click sleep to next day, what's it going to do? Okay, it is just going to make me sleep for a couple hours. Good. You, here's your soup. It was a much more complex task than you might think. Vanish bring here. What do you think? Oh my god, she really doesn't like it. Oh. Are you kidding me? What's on your mind? <laughs> I'd love to go dancing naked in the moonlight. But those damn mosquitoes. <laughs> okay. How's that kingdom doing? There's not enough crafting resources. That's right. Yep, yep. We do need sticks. That's my bad. I will get us sticks. So everybody pulls from here. So I can just drop a bunch of sticks in here. Hold on. Oh, I have 90 sticks. I'll give you guys 40. That should keep everyone quiet for a little bit. I also might as well make a couple knives. I can make 13. I will make four. This is or five. Uh, this will use up some more of my sticks, which is depressing because I need to build a house for Roland. But uh, whatever. Also, I kind of, no joke, kind of want Roland to be my fisherman. Because he was talking about how good he is at it. I honestly kind of want to fire the other guy. Um, not, like, get rid of him or anything. Just swap his job. Where's... Am I the only one not seeing the knife? Knife, 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 kn
make the wrong thing? What did I just make? Hold on. What did I just make five of? Torches? Did I just make five torches? Is that what I just did? No. What? I just made knives. Where'd they go? So many different wooden shovels. <laughs> the heck. I don't know where my knives went, but I'm just gonna make more. There. Oh, I actually have to put them in the thing. You guys can have four of those knives. One of them is for me. I realize now that my knife is what broke. And that's where my re recurve bow went. No. My final knife must have broke while I was skinning the bear. Hmm. Let's check food. Goodness. Okay. Um. Why didn't they pick all the cabbages? Or what happened here? You guys should have enough wooden hose. Here, you can take two. You have a bag. You have all that. Mmm. They don't have fertilizer, though, I guess. Oh! Oh, they planted? <gasps> Ooh, we got more cabbage seeds. Nice. That's actually really great. I love that. I love that that's how that works. I'll take that. Um, I might need quite a few of these logs. I don't know if I need that many, but I'm going to take just a few because i got to make a house for the one guy. Okay. Let me just real quick change out the woodshed. I need to... Yeah, you guys can really slow down on logs. And really pump up stick production. That's what we need is sticks. Sticks, sticks, sticks. We need a lot of them. Um, in fact, I need some. I'm going to go grab some and then I'm going to go build that house for that dude. Roland. Keep on rolling, Roland. Big and rich, anyone? That was the joke. <clears throat> anyway. I guess there's also another... What's the other Roland song? It's by... Is it Leonard Skinner? See the guy who works in my Godfrey. Godfrey, what are you out here doing? Do you think Godfrey's getting lumber, like logs, or do you think he's getting sticks right now? Let's find out. I actually kind of want to watch him quick while I get more sticks. Oh my god! So also, I'm confused on what it is that the farm, the people in the farm shed are saying they don't have. Because if it's seed, then the only reason you don't have it is because I just took all of it. Like there, there's your cabbage seed. 
So what is it? You don't need anything there. Fertilizer. Oh, that's right, fertilizer. Uh, uh, <laughs> that hurt my body. There's so much meat. Oh my god, hold on. That sneeze really did me in. Oof. Okay. Let me just stop and think for a second. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> gonna need more buckets here soon. Let's go build Roland's house just so he doesn't get pissed off and leave because I really don't want him to leave. I want him to stay. House. Um, do we just do a let's just do a simple house, honestly, because I have enough small houses. Let's do a big one. Let's kind of build it up here a touch more. Uh, get my hammer. Boom. Uh oh. Boom. There we go. I was the obstacle blocking the build site, by the way. Oh, God. Do I have enough straw? Oh, yeah. Never mind. I just... I thought that said I had eight or whatever, but I think I had 80. I should definitely have logs for this at 30-something. I'm out of sticks. Are you freaking kidding me? I can't get out of the way. There. Okay, I guess I'll go pick more sticks. Ah. <sighs> Sticks is honestly the one thing I never really thought I'd run out of while, like, doing stuff. Especially because I figured that later on in the game you wouldn't need sticks nearly as much for, like, building stuff. I figured you would just need sticks for, like, your handcrafted tools and stuff. I didn't think I would need it for, you know, building homes. I guess I don't know why I thought that, though. Like, obviously, they used any material at their disposal. Uh, to build. Man, if only I had people that lived in my village and were hired specifically for the job of collecting sticks. If only there were people that did that. I wonder if Godfrey ever comes out here and then sees the moose and is like, oh my god, <laughs> like gets terrified or anything. Because, like, I don't. They run away from you if you get too close to them. They're, they're pretty, they're not very scary creatures. Honestly, I thought moose would attack you. Um, <clears throat> when I first got near one, I really thought it was going to come up and take a swing at me, but I guess not. I guess that's just the buffalo. Wisent. Whatever you want to call them. They have no fear. They'll come up and murder you. And that bear. That bear was also definitely going to try to murder me. Is this Godfrey? What is up, my guy? Um, how's your day? Search work, harvest, and winter professions. Uh, especially when you get sick. I've been catching a cold every fall uh, since Goodbye. I was born. Really? Interesting. Okay. Boom. 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 Your house is done, Roland. Now let's put you in it. Roland, 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 Roland. Roland, here's your house. Kaboom. And let's get you a job. Let's see, what can you do? I honestly kind of want you fishing. His fishing skill is a six. Hold on, let me look at this guy. Where's Roland? Literally six. His survival is a six. Oh my goodness, bro. So he can go anywhere that it's a six. Fishing or the herbalist hut. Uh, yeah, you're going to be the new fisherman. Um, Delagore, sorry, you're out. Let's find something else for Delagore to do. 
you. Yeah, you're getting a new job. Um, no. Uh, we can put you at the well, honestly. I'm gonna put you at the well. That way when my buckets and stuff break, you can just automatically go do them. And you know what? I'll even use all the planks that I'm holding to make some more buckets. And I'll go throw them in your thing. You'll have something to do. And then anytime a bucket breaks, you'll have something to do. Mm, I don't know where the bucket is. Oh, there it was. There's one. Here's the other five. There you go. You know, you're the, supposed to be the one going on picking stuff. Godfrey has been here longer. But that's fine, I guess. What is... Did I get stuck again? Dude, this is the only place I ever get stuck. There we go. Thank you. Alright, Roland's happiness will go up. These guys do need fertilizer. That's the one thing I don't do good at. How do I... Like, what am I supposed to do to make fertilizer that more? Do you know what I mean? Like, I was kind of hoping that a lot of this meat in here would eventually start to rot. Which then I could, you know, make fertilizer out of. Um, let me think, let me think. Ah, cabbage. Ooh, you know what I could do? Hold on. <clears throat> Now, maybe I, there's a chance that I might have to manually do this, but I want to see if I can come here to the kitchen. Hey, sweetie. Can I, can I borrow that? Thank you. Because I bought this. Ah. So one, I have to have a wooden bowl, which I have somewhere. And two, I have to actually go grab the cabbage. That's nice, though. Okay, well, let me do that. This is going to be my first time, like, making a meal that's not just meat uh, in the game. So let's grab all this, and then do I... I have a wooden bowl somewhere. I know I do, because I don't think I got rid of it. I might not actually still have it on me. Yeah, I got two. Nice. And then I'll grab this one. Four. Gosh, I have a lot of wheat. Uh, what do I do with wheat? I'll have to remember. Hold on. Uh, I think I can use wheat. Come in here. And do like wheat grain or something. Uh, daub is straw and clay. Animal feed is oat grain, rye grain, and straw. Okay. What is this? Flour, flour. Oh, this just makes flour out of different grain. <gasps> oh, I can make flour and then we can make bread. Right? Am I wrong? So I can turn the wheat into wheat grain. It's I got a lot of wheat in there. So the wheat can be turned into wheat grain. The wheat grain can be used for flour. Or I can use the wheat grain for animal feed. No, no. That's oat and rye. Okay. Um, honestly, I am gonna buy this. Uh, I don't ha I can't make it yet, but I'm gonna buy it anyway. Poppy seed fertilizer. Rotten manure. Okay. There's nothing in this chest yet, yeah, because no one works here yet. So, okay. Now, what do you need for the, the th linen thread? Flax stock. So now, I have some flax seeds. You guys have them, right? Flax seeds. Hmm. Don't mind me. This is just a lot of brain processing for me. Let's come in here. Here. Soups. And 
Oh, I only have one wooden bowl? I thought I had more. That's okay. I'll make just one. See what I do. Oh my god, I'm sticking my hand in the boiling stuff. Stop it. Stop doing that. What were the other wooden things I had? Were they wooden plates? Is that what it was? Ah, they were. Damn it. Well, here. Actually, you can keep the wooden plates. Because... I don't want them. Um, wait, no, can't I come? I can come in here and go... What are we doing here? I don't know what that status means. No item fertilizer. No item fer... Oh, I didn't know I could come in here and look at it that way. Nice. Let's see... Oh, I can change the plant type. So that's cabbage. This is... Wheat or whatever. Okay. Didn't know I could do that. Interesting. Sorry, I was looking at some stuff. I think if I come here in the kitchen, I can change this to where she makes other stuff. Yeah, I just have to get her wooden bowls, and I can have her make other stuff. Interesting. I could have her roasting the fish meat, too. I can do that. Let's have her doing 30% into that. Actually, we can probably do more like a 50-50. Eh, let's not do 50-50. Only because... Let's do 70-30. Only because I think that the hunters produce meat a lot faster than Roland will produce fish. I could be wrong. I also just thought about the fact that I'm going to need more fishing spears. Because I think I I bought some, but I'm I'm eventually I'm going to need more, right? I have 3 linen thread. Uh, I'll use 2 of it. Make him 2 more and then I want to keep 1 linen thread because linen thread is also used to make a bow, I believe. Oh, just really quickly, I want to check something before I... So I want to plant that flaxseed, because this is wheat, wheat, and this is cabbage. So what I want to do is I need to... I need fertilizer first. I hate that every time I want fertilizer, I have to go buy it. Because I'm bad at planning. Also, can I just eat the straight cabbage? That's another question I have. Plus seven food. I can. Oh. I didn't know that. Anyway, let me throw this in here. Um, this can go in there. Do I have any other foods that I can throw in here? This stuff? Oh, wait. Rot. This can go in here. That can go in there. Oops. Um, I'm keeping that. Pike. This can... No, I'm going to keep that for a sec. I got a plan. That can go in here. That can go in here. Uh, this can go in here. And honestly, these berries can all go in here. Now, with the pike, I have a plan. I think with the pike, I can go down to the fishing hut. Now, I could have Roland do this for me, and I could just throw this in the food, the, throw it in the food storage. But I might as well just do it here. Yeah, and this will just give me seven fish meat. So. Oh, now I have seven fish meat. Just kind of nice. Oh, while I'm here, I also have to give you your uh, fishing spears. 
Where is Roland? I'm not gonna lie, I kinda thought he'd be out, you know, fishing. And maybe he is. Maybe I just don't see him. I'll trust him, though. The guy has a six in survival. Clearly his fishing is beyond whatever the hell I would have done, you know. Um, fertilizer. How much money do I have? I see how much money I have. 11.49. Okay. 11.49.6. Interesting. I was going to drink water there, but honestly, I just... There he is. All the way over there fishing. What a mad lad. Um. Okay. Honestly, let's just run to the village. I'm not going to run out and talk to Sambor that's really far away. I might actually wait one more season and then go talk to him. Um. But I do need to run and I need fertilizer. I need... I need some way to make fertilizer. I could do a compost bin and then take some of the extra food that I get, throw in that compost bin. What does it take to build one, though? Hold on. Um, turns composted food into rot at the turn of seasons. So, I guess, hold on. Just while I have it on my mind. I don't think that it's like a permanent solution for my rot or for my fertilizer problem. Um, honestly, the, the best solution for the fertilizer thing is going to be me getting animals. But... This is Godfrey. Hey, Godfrey. Um, I'm dirty. But I think that for the fertilizer problem... Maybe this will be a good start? I really don't know. Let's just put it in here. Let's go. So it's furniture and decorations, miscellaneous. Does it have to be outside? If it's going to have to be outside, we're going to put it here. Open. So, do I have, like, there There was obviously some bad food in here. If I take, like, this 50 here, and, God, that's so much food. Honestly, let's take a big chunk of this. I don't want all of it, by any means, but let's... Let's just take a huge chunk of it, and then we'll go, get out of the way. Then we'll come back in here. Uh, no, food. And we will go, like, all of that, all of that, all of that. Not enough space in destination. Actually, give me this. You can have that and any of this that's left over. Not enough space. Okay. I mean... Okay, so they all weigh the same, so that's fine. Um, yeah. And we'll just see about that stuff turning into... Badness. We'll see. Um... Now who doesn't have a job? Smithy, what are you what are you missing? Sticks, probably yeah. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? Are you guys producing sticks? You have to be. What do we have for logs? Honestly, at a certain point we'll have just a few too many logs. 139. 139? Thought we had one... Oh, I took some. That's right. Um, I forgot that I took, like, a bunch earlier. 
let's knock this to 20. That's all you need. 20 a day. Uh, let's do 15. 15 a day. Because honestly, sticks are important. That's what I need. Maybe what I need to do is overload it with sticks right off the bat. And then hope that they can just keep up with the smithy's demand. I don't know how they're not now. Like, I feel like he's not asking for that many sticks throughout the day. Maybe he is. But I don't feel like he is. Because he's made... Okay, hold on. Let me actually stop and, like, kind of do the math on it a little. Um, that's not the smithy. Because he's asking for ten. Because he's only making one of the... Or, oh, he might be making two of these a day. Ten, five, one log. He's, like, barely asking for sticks. And he's only doing one a day. Like, what? <laughs> I don't understand... How you guys are struggling to keep up with him. And I keep only giving him like 40 sticks when I do it. But they should be producing 120 a day. He, he should never be asking me for sticks. And the hammer doesn't even require sticks to make. The hammer requires logs. So, hmm... Something's a little fishy, that's all I'm saying. Is this just a big pile of sticks here? Nice. Love when you find those. So I think it's autumn right now. Yeah, so that means next season is winter. Mm, so next season, we'll have a bunch of fun to deal with. The cold, primarily. Um... I'm going to try to get up to like 200 sticks, and then I'm going to drop like 100 in the resource thing. Honestly, I think I'm just going to straight up take 100 sticks to the smithy. He, I'm just going to give him 100, and then... Uh, hang on, isn't there a way... There's like a way to tell the resource demand of certain stuff, right? So like, so like, okay, so like water, for example, it's showing demand slash one day, food demand slash one day. Okay, so food, we're making 1100.5, but the demand per day is 420. Same thing with water, we're making a lot, demand is 420. Wood, we're making a lot, the demand is 420 per day. Is that right? Is that what I'm getting out of that? <laughs> My survival skills going up because I'm just out here picking up sticks. Um, no lie, getting married in this game is also really nice because your wife becomes a checkpoint. She's a marker on my map at all times, which is actually fantastic for getting home. Uh, we're almost to 200. There's a moose. Hello, moose. I said that, and then something made a noise. It went, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I don't know if it was the moose or if there's another fucking animal nearby, but it was a very interesting noise to make. Oh, let's collect these little things. Oh, we're at 216. Oh, dang. Okay, well. I did go a tiny bit over what I said I was going to do, but... You can never have too much of something. Well, you can, but... Who's unhappy? Tell me. 
Oh, it's still Roland. Well, yeah, obviously. His, he was at, like, negative 55. It's going to take him a second to come back up. Um, you. Uh, you have a wooden hammer still. You're good there. But take, like, so many sticks. Honestly, I think it would have been faster if I went the other way. But here we go. Uh, I'll give you 115. You have 115 sticks. If you complain one more time, I will beat you. Like, physically. Mentally. Emotionally. I won't really. He's a good guy. I like him. But, you know. Doesn't make me happy. Who are you? Hey, oh, friend. Rosalinda. Hey! How's your day going? Autumn is the summary of our hard work and preparation for the upcoming winter. If we succeed, we will survive. Celebrate together. Cool. See you soon. Cool. Are you another one of my villagers? Albert. Hey. Is that Roland out there with a spear? It is. I don't want to scare the fish away from him. He's really in it. Like, he's really in the water. Like, really far in. Fishing. It's kind of crazy, to be honest. Oh, goodness. Um... I think I need to go buy fertilizer now. That's kind of honestly the very next step that I have to do. Buy fertilizer. Kind of a lot of fertilizer, too. Now who's out of a job? The excavation shed. Your pickaxe broke. Why wouldn't it? I know that the smithy is, like, making pickaxes he's making one a day but I do honestly think that I have them doing enough stuff to where they will break more than one in a day so I'm actually kind of okay with giving them one every now and then they haven't needed one needed a pickaxe in a long time um so I'll give them whatever the ones I just made you guys can have all five of these and honestly I think I have some wooden shovels you can have you can have that one and you can have that one Perfect. Let me eat a little. Whatever remaining frickin' meat I have. Okay. Now let's go try to buy some fertilizer. And hopefully get back by the end of the day. Hello, Rosalinda. Whew. Gosh. Again, nice calming game, but sometimes just you gotta think a little about how you wanna do stuff, organize things, shit like that. And I also just remembered that since it's soon to be winter, maybe I shouldn't be buying fertilizer yet. Since it's gonna be winter after winter is when we pay taxes uh, come spring. So maybe I shouldn't buy anything so that I have enough money for taxes. Especially because my taxes last time were like, like 490 coin, I think it was. And I've added since then. <laughs> so, well, I don't think I have anything to sell either for quite a bit. I guess I could sell some of these straw hats, but like outside of that, I don't know. I just don't know. We'll see, though. Um, check out for carts along the road. It's been a couple new seasons since I've actually been back here. So there should be, there might be a new cart or two along the way. Uh, not this one. This cart will repeat, I guess. It will always remain. Which is a little weird, but whatever, I guess. There's that guy. Man, the, 
I've been running so far away to get to certain villages that I honestly forget how close this one kind of is. People here have quests for me. Let's see what they are. Maybe I'll do some. You, you have a quest for me. How have you been? Can I help you some? To feed my family, but the food went missing. I have no coin. This should be hard. I'll be right back. Oh, did I just give her meat? And she just gave me 60... Cool! Worth it. Oh, there's someone here I need to talk to. Uh, there's a quest I have. Hold on. It is... To do this one. Alwyn's story. He is... Which one's Alwyn? There. Uh, you. Uh, nothing's new. I've got my hands full today, not to mention my water skin is leaking. I swear it's like... It's doing it on purpose only to make my work harder on this damn day. Well, that's too bad. Can't you just buy a new one? This one is my favorite. I'm attached to it. For you, my friend, I'll pretend that that is not disgusting at all. How can I help? Uh, to the west of here, there's a village where they have a sewing hut. Could you go over there and talk to the sword to repair my water skin? Of course, I didn't see my trouble. I'll be back with your stinky water skin when it's repaired. That's kind of funny. Okay. Let's find someone over here now who has a quest for me. Let's just see if hopefully it's something I can do very easily. Um, is it you? No. Someone in the house? It's you. I welcome you, traveler. Hey, can I help you with something? I am an elderly man who is unable to craft tools of his own. Could you please bring me an axe? Uh sure. Now, I'm almost positive I have a 100% durability axe, but I'm just going to give him this Greetings. One. It was not Does he not want that? Oh, he wants I seeing you. more. No, stop. 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 He wants more than the one I was offering him. I think I just made one too many, but that's okay. If I have an extra axe, I will. I have a woodshed that needs them. And there's one more person over here. New building unlocked. Smithy 2, the squeakle. Uh, you. Hey. Can I help you with something? Dangerous animals are fresh at night. Our people are getting anxious. Would you be willing to cut down the number? Here, there are spare coins. Sure. Let me check. Wait for the next evening. Ooh, you'll give me stones, a stone spear? That's kind of sick nasty, actually. Let me do this quick survival. More health, that might be a useful one. Let's do athlete, I sprint a lot. I run a lot of places. Hunt bear slash wolf. Huh. First of all, I am absolutely not hunting bears, and I don't really want to go hunt wolves either. Uh, I take it back. I don't want your mission. Let me just untrack that. Deliver to Matilda Alwyn's water skin. Onion seeds? Ooh! Now, he said there's a village to the west that I have to take it to. What is that village? Oh, it's Denica. Oh, cool. There's no problem. I can run to Denica anyway, just for fun. <gasps> Wait. Edwin! Of course, it's not interested in talking to you right now. Edwin! That's <sighs> okay. There's a place in Denica I can buy fertilizer. Ugh. I waited too long. I got distracted doing other things. Are there wolves between my village and Denica? I don't think so. But there's wolves after Denica. 
Maybe I could do that mission, go hunt some wolves. I don't know, and I killed one. It took, what, three arrows? But I think at least one of those was a head shot. And I think that shots to the head do actually do more damage to uh, two creatures when you attack them. So, mm, I don't know. I could be wrong. I like how my girlfriend came out here. She was going to sit with me, and she was sitting here with me. And then she got up to go to the bathroom, I think, and she just never came back out. Not like she's still sitting in the bathroom. I mean, like, she went to the bathroom, and then I think she went to the bedroom, and she's laying in bed now. Apparently, she doesn't want to watch me stream. Ugh. Who wouldn't want to watch me stream? You can just barely see my village's outline. Er, wrong road. <clears throat> it's my wife. It is. Hello there. Hi. How's our little kingdom? Everything's going smoothly. Good. Interesting. I just realized I can hear my girlfriend watching TikTok. I wonder if you guys can hear it through the mic. I don't know. If anyone's listening and they can hear all the little TikToks through the mic, let me know. But... Um, let's see... Oh, wait, wait. Does someone in my village have a quest for me? How are you? Hello! Can I help with something? Yeah, I do need help. I've not been feeling too well lately. I think I might be coming down with something. Could you please bring me some mushrooms or herbs so I can make myself a family cure stew? What kind of stuff? Parasol, Fly, Garrick, John. I might have some of that stuff. Hold on. Let me... Hang on. Herbalist Hut. Free time. <laughs> you have all sorts of free time. There's no nothing else to do. Honestly, I could probably drop this chicory, and I could drop. I want to keep those, but I can drop the chicory. I could drop the. I'll keep the dandelion only because it's out of season. But um, that one thing I told you to get that, and I will ask you to get parasol mushrooms, but only because I get them for other stuff too. So. Um, but I might have some of these much. I don't know if I have the fly, agar uh, fly agaric ones, but I do have the parasol one. Uh, oh, I have both of what I need, just not enough. <laughs> so, that's cool. Let's go do Alwyn's story over in Danica. We'll just head there. I don't really have a reason to... Uh, hold on. I was going to say I don't really have a reason to stay, but... Yeah, I'll be fine. Deliver to Matilda. Okay. So, the other thing is, is that... Is this Matilda chick... Okay, sorry, birds. Is this Matilda person just going to take them and not make me pay because I say it's Alwyn's? Or is she gonna, like, make me pay? Or is she gonna make me do something ridiculous? Like hunt a frickin' buffalo. Bison. What do you wanna call it? I worked with a girl once who was, like, very... Uh, very into, uh, bison. 
which was kind of a strange thing because I was like, I was like, why are you so into buffalo? She was like, no, bison. And I was like, what's the difference? But I never, never really thought about it until I looked it up earlier. This game is just so soothing. Sorry, I just get distracted. You just run around, you hear little birds chirping, you run by a stream, and you can hear the water flowing. It's just... It's just good. Everything is good in the hood. I like it. Let me check... Honestly, I was just checking to see if there was wolves anywhere near here, because if there was, I considered maybe going to hunt some just for that one chick. Um, do I have to hunt them specifically at night, though? I feel like I should be able to hunt them other times. Don't mind me. Ooh, parasol mushrooms. Hold on. Twenty bucks says I've walked by like eighty-seven of the other mushrooms that that guy asked me to grab, and I just haven't stopped for them. There's red pine. What's that? It just sticks, right? It's also oh, woolly milk cap. It's red pine. Hey. Now I'm specifically looking for... Ooh, is that the one? Yeah. Let's say I'm specifically looking for that one that he wanted me to grab. Only milk out. Yeah. So the red spotted ones are the ones he wants. Like this. Yeah. So if I could just find more of those... Um... I came here for a specific task. Uh, while I am here, though, I'm going to see there's a potential side quest. I'm going to see if this person's side quest is a ridiculous request or not. And they're not within the village. They're right out on the outside of the fence. I can see them out there. Um, hello, random citizen. That person had goats. Can I buy goats? Oh, look at the little ones! They're so cute! Goatlings? Aren't, aren't little goats called kids? I mean, I'm okay with goatling, too. It sounds cute, but aren't they called kids? Maybe that's just me. Hello, traveler. Hey. We need your help. Last night, there was a terrible storm that destroyed our house. Could you please help us gather resources to rebuild it? Uh, sure. Wait. Hold on, what do you need? Because honestly, it shouldn't be that much. Oh, he wants a bunch of logs. Eh. Okay. I can go cut down trees easy enough. Let me talk to you. How are you? What You're the person I've got I need it. to talk to. Let me look at selling some stuff quick. Let's see if there's anything I can sell for decent-ish money. Um, honestly, I might sell this hat. Actually, I should sell this one and keep this one. Or, I'll sell this one, and I'll sell this one. I'll wear that one. Let's see. What else am I going to sell to you? Uh, nope. In here? Nope. And, honestly, you can have this moose skull. Um, how much are you selling fertilizer for? Are you selling fertilizer? Here it is. Okay. Seven. Ugh. Okay, so let's see. I don't want to buy too much, but I kind of need a lot. That's the shitty thing. I'll buy 15. Because I already have those Goodbye. wheat fields that are fertilized. Right? So I'll buy the those. Jesus. Yeah. Let's buy that. 
We'll go do... You talk to this... Hey! As I can tell, it won't be... But I'm missing materials. What do you need? I think a few leathers will do. Hey! Hey! Hey, old friend. Have a good... Wait. Are you actually going to make me go out and kill something? Day. They're actually going to make me go out and hunt the animals, even though I have the leather. I know I have the leather. I always have leather. Okay, well, let's see where there's some deer and stuff. Uh, just right on the other side of Denica, of course. You know, sometimes the people in this game irritate me with how specific they want me to be with things. They're like, oh, I need... I need leather. And I'm like, okay, well, here's some leather. They're like, nope, you have to go hunt for the leather. I'm like, why not just take this leather I'm trying to hand you right now? And they're like, because screw you. Dink. One, two. So I need... How much wood did I need again? I think it's a 24 or something like that. I was at seven. Oh, that's one of those mushrooms I need right there. I think. It is nice. Let's do this one. And I'm right next to the road cutting trees down, but I mean, whatever. Ooh, there's some maple trees I could cut down very easily. Ooh, this is a big ass tree. Look at that sucker go. Still crazy to me that a tree that big technically only gives me four logs. Insane. Oh, goodness. I don't know what the point in raising my dynasty level is in this game, to be honest with you. I don't fully understand what the point is, but... I'm okay with it a little, too, though, so whatever. Um, and then I'm going to go hunt. What do I need, just two? Yeah, I'll just hunt two deer here quick. For logs, I honestly don't know. This should be quite a few. I should be almost to 24, right? Are you kidding? I literally just need one more. Let's cut down this one. I know I could just cut down a birch one and get two, but I might as well cut this down. A lynx. I just saw. Nice. Oh. That hurt. Why is my health so low? Like, yes, I did just get hit by this tree. But that was just once. Why is my health low besides that? Are you kidding? Don't worry, Link. Someone trying to attack you. Damn it. 
bro. I literally just need to hunt a couple of deer. So I'm honestly not going to get a better shot than right there in the head. I was going to say, please don't come and attack me. Oh, my bow broke. Dang. Nice one. Fox is me. Is that a wolf? Oh shit. I definitely can't stay near here then. Damn it. What is my village? What are they complaining about now? Oh, the hunting lodge is out of knives? How are you out of knives? Dude, they go through knives so freaking quick. Okay. Here's the deer. Let me sneak up on it a little. Ah, I hit him. Her. I hit her. It is a doe. Damn. Dude, I can't freaking aim. Whew. Let me just... Actually stop and take the time to aim instead of just trying to do it while I run. I like how it made me kill two deer, and then it's like, give her four leather. <laughs> I have a little over a hundred leather, and I have to give her four. I could have just given her four of the almost hundred I already had. Why is my health so low? Like, I get that I just got hit by that tree a little bit ago, but it felt like it was low before that. Oops. Thanks. I did kind of honestly just skip through a lot of that, like, much faster than I meant to. House rebuilding. So this is that farmer out here. You. Yeah. Thanks. How are we looking coin wise? Twelve thirty-seven. Nice. Okay. Um. I have his mushrooms, right? No, I don't have enough of the fly agaric ones. What? How do I not, bro? I'll look for some on the run back to my village. I, 20 bucks says I'll find some. I'll, I bet I'll find at least one more between here and my village. Hi, person. Bye, dude. All right. Just keep an eye out. They're the little red spotted ones, right? Oh, it's that thing. Auto save. Hey, there's a buck. So there's a lot of parasol mushrooms. Hey. It's 
Sometimes I feel like when there's a big cluster of mushrooms, I feel like that means that there's some other ones nearby. I don't know if that's true. <gasps> See? I told you I'd find one. I literally just need one more, I think. Nice. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I found even more. Nice. I was, like, staying away from the road a little, too, because I thought I needed... Thought I'd find them a little further off. Uh, let me... Take... I was gonna say, let me take the last drink of water out of my water skin, but apparently I... Apparently I drank all the water out of my water skin. Ugh. Goodness, this stream went from being a lot of, or, um, like, at the very beginning was just the craziness of having to go so far away to get a bowl of soup. <laughs> and the worst part is, is that I finally got that bowl of soup, I give it to my wife, and what does she tell me? I've had better. And that honestly hurts my soul. very painful that I went that far just for her not to even like it. Um, I am really quickly going to do this. Is that rolling out there in the water? Stop rolling. I'm going to bathe. Look how nice and clean I am. Look at me. I'm a lad. Now I'm underwater. Just kidding. No. Hey, Roland. Did I scare all the fish away? Sorry. Oh, this game is a third person, by the way. I know I, like, never show it, but this game does have third person. Mushrooms. Um, I never actually picked that one mushroom that I was just trying to get. You. Here. Thanks. Goodness. All that random crap I did. Um, knives. Let's calm down quick. Honestly, I can make a bunch. I'm gonna make ten of these knives. And y'all are gonna take them. And stop breaking them. Obviously, I don't expect you to, like, fully stop breaking them. You still need to use them, you know. But, like, I, I don't know. Get better about breaking them. Um, actually, can I have one of those back? Thanks. You can have nine of those knives. One of mine is almost broken, so. Um, I bet you're gonna run out of stuff to do soon. Maybe not. No. Well, you shouldn't. There's enough people here that you shouldn't run out of stuff. <gasps> Guys, I got fertilizer. You're welcome. They haven't, like, fully... I don't think they've, like, fully registered that there is fertilizer there yet. Um, is there anything I can throw in here? This can go in here. This clay can honestly go in here. Copper ore. Mm, this rye can go in here. Log stick. Straw. Uh, this can go in here. And this can go in here. Let's go look. So this isn't going to turn to compost until the next season, right? And in here, how we look in. Ooh, she's getting some of those mushrooms. The fly garlic ones, which is nice. Gosh, we have so much meat in here. And five rot. Things need to rot away quicker. I need more rot. I need to be able to produce fertilizer. Hey, you guys actually have a thing you can do now, you know. 
I bought this fertilizer specifically so you guys would, you know, fertilize. Isn't that the whole reason you aren't doing anything? Been fertilized. I even have some leftover fertilizer, which is kind of nice. Are you also mad because you don't have another bag? I can give you another bag. Honestly, I should just I should make. Well, let's make five bags. I can make a lot because bags only take leather. Um, but I will make quite a few more bags, and I will give them to them so that I don't have to deal with them. Does it really only take three leather to make bags? That's crazy. Yeah, you can have four of those, and I'm going to keep the one. See, look. Now let me do something here. Take this flax seed. can't be planted this season. Are you kidding me? That's okay. Hold on. I can change what gets planted in that field, though. Uh, give me a sec to figure out how. Field one, nine, six. This is the one that doesn't have anything in it yet. Okay. Change plant type. So they're currently going to plant more cabbage. One, two, three, four, six. Uh, I want you to plant... I want you to plant flax, but I don't think you will. I can do half and half. Half flax, half cabbage. Here's what we're going to do, actually. This will all be flax. The field has been changed. Do you want to keep this changed? Yes. And then this, these two are both wheat at the moment. And honestly... Um, we could honestly change, well, they're two different sizes. <laughs> What's, what do I need less of? Maybe, here's what we'll do. Change this, because right now I think I have it set to all flax, so it'll be six and six flax. That's twelve. This six, maybe we'll do... Because right now it's wheat. I don't really need that much wheat, though. We could do... Rye, maybe? Let's try rye. I think I have a bunch of rye and don't have like I have like the rye seeds or whatever somewhere anyway I thought I did hey Walbert um I thought I did maybe I don't here's rye rye grain Or sowing the fields using... Okay, okay. Yeah, so we do have rye grain. Um, let me take that grain. And I will go put it... Actually, no. I was going to go put it in the farming thing, but we will keep it here. Yeah. Oh, that's him. I was like, what is making that noise? It's one of them. So, how are we looking day-wise? Do we think I have enough time to run? Can I borrow this? Two things. One, I need to make this. 
to. I'm just gonna take a quick drink. Then I'm on my way. Uh, let me eat. Eat, 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 eat. Some roasted meat. And I have 126 meat. Goodness gracious. I like the shadow. So this, this, this game actually does have like functioning shadows. Though. I mean, like that's me running, you know, you can see all that. Um, this, there's actually a sun in the sky you can use to tell time of day a little. Like it's later in the day, you know, because that's west. Um... Sun rises in the east, sets in the west. All of the shadows are falling this way, you know. So I mean, it, the, it's this game is nice. It's pretty. It's functioning. Like everything functions properly, and it just looks nice. I also love the change, the weather change. Uh, when the seasons change, you know, it's great seeing the color change with everything. Let's go give What's-His-Nuts, Alwyn, let's give him his thing. And then, honestly, I think we can leave. I don't think I need to... I think I can just give him his thing and then leave, or give him his thing and leave. I don't think I need to do anything else while I'm here. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Um, there he goes. There he goes. Hey, you, Owen, stop moving right now. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. This told me a lot. I have some onion seeds here. Maybe you'll make use of them. Thanks. Uh, you didn't have a lot of trouble, did you? Let's see. The sower... Didn't have the leather to pair the water skin, sorry, to hunt down some wild animals for supplies. Piece of cake. So you can craft tools and hunt. You truly are amazing. My mother was always pretty handy with a bow and spear. She used to take me hunting from an early age. Really? I envy you. My father only taught me how to work on the fields. Remember that in the end, you were the one who shapes your own fate. Yes, it makes sense. It's time for me to leave. Till next time. Sorry. Well then... Halloween, Halloween's story continues? Alright. Um, wait for the next day. Debronica's story. Talk to Nadar. Where's she? Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, I've... I've actually been, like, over to here. I haven't been all the way here yet. But I've been there, and I could have very easily... I've been near there. I could have very easily run over and done that quest quick. Shit. I didn't even think about it. How far can you zoom in? I've never actually tried. Dang, you can zoom in quite a ways. Look at all my people all doing stuff. Nice. I'd invite more people, but, um... No. I don't want to build more stuff. Especially right now. Because the season is about to change. And when the season changes to winter, I don't want to be building buildings and dealing with bringing new people in. Uh, that is a negative Ghost Rider. I ain't doing any of that. Rewards? A thousand... No, ten thousand and one? Is that what that says? Ten thousand and one Dynasty Revolution... Reputation. Max development stage. Buildings limit 70. Dang. Dude, having 70 buildings would honestly be kind of crazy. Walrad. Interesting. Is Walrad supposed to be like a play on Warlord kind of thing? Because Walrad is W A L R O D. 
Mm, not enough R's. Never mind. Mm. What's it called when you have a word and you flip all the letters around to do something different? Like how in Harry Potter, Lord Voldemort, um, like I am Lord Voldemort, comes from like the Tom Marvolo riddle thing. That makes sense. What does the term Voldemort mean? You know what I mean? Like, where does the term come from? Hmm. Because I think, doesn't the name Dumbledore have a meaning? Not to get off on a Harry Potter tangent, but I thought it did. Like, that term had a definition long before, you know being uh, the name of a character in Harry Potter. I don't remember what it was. Hello, Godfrey. Wife. Yeah. <gasps> she healed me. You can heal me? I didn't know that. Everything is going smoothly. Thank you. I didn't know I could, I didn't know I could do that. Bye. <laughs> I love how she just walks up and she's like, oh, goodness, you're hurt. Let me heal you. And then she's like, bye. <laughs> Dude, they never planted anything. Oh, because I wanted it to be flax seeds and you can't plant flax seeds this season. Let me check quick. Does it say, did I pick up the flax seeds? I did. Oops. Let me look. Uh... During spring. So they can only be planted during spring. Which means I have to wait to plant them until after <sighs> winter. Got it. It's probably a good thing I'm planting it on my big field then. This is all fertilized though, right? Yeah, everything's fertilized. Nice. So, hopefully this next season too, my trees grow a little larger. Because I kind of want to see, I, I'm excited to see what the trees and stuff are like. Uh, let's just sleep. I don't really have anything else to do for the rest of this. Boop. For the rest of this day, anyway. Uh, some sudden and very strong storm has passed through your village during the night and damaged some of your buildings. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Goodness. Five buildings got damaged. Damaged how? Like, damaged to the point where I have to repair them? Yeah. I honestly don't actually care about failing that night hunt quest. Let me equip this cold weather gear, just so you can see what it looks like. Ooh. Ah. Didn't I? I thought I had fur boots. Hmm. Anyway. It's winter time. <laughs> Bless you. I like winter time in this game. It looks pretty. Let's look at shoes. Sh fur shoes. Fur and leather. This is actually something I could do. I I can make the hunters get fur and we could build some of this stuff. I just need the money to buy the schemes. Oh, of course, none of these are really going to grow in the wintertime. Oh, no. I'm sure come spring that these will all sprout up quite a bit, though. <clears throat> they should be good. Why are you just standing here in the middle of this Hello field, there. Godfrey? Small talk. Uh, how did it go? There's less field work and you spend more time in your warm and cozy home. It's the season for long stories and conversations beside the Goodbye. fire. <clears throat> so, being from South Dakota, I like winter. I do. Um, I deal with it enough that I've kind of grown to like it. But, I do hate extreme I cold. I like the cold, but super extreme cold, kind of a pain. You won't believe what an interesting person I've met. The little cricket person that lives in the stump near the waterfall. Are you having a fever? 
know why. I swear I could see him wearing a vest and a hat while playing some kind of instrument. Yeah, I think I might have a fever. <laughs> Shush, I met a young woman who's a real inventor. Intriguing, what did she invent? I didn't ask specifically, but believe me, she's so full of passion and knowledge, it's been wonderful talking to her. I think you should stop by Veronica and chat with her a bit while she's still in the valley. Um, <laughs> can't I already have a meeting with the twins called By and By? <laughs> Oh, How is life treating you? she actually lost affection for me. Oh no. Oh, I'm so very sorry. Aww. That was very sweet of her. Hi. She is so sweet. I didn't mean to make her hate me. <laughs> is everyone getting to work? Already? Jeez, it's so early. Is that Roland? I want to ask him how he's doing. Hey, old friend. Hey, what's on your mind? Fish are the smartest of animals, no doubt about that. Someday the water will swallow our land and all of us will become slaves to fish. Apart from me, of course, being a living legend has its See perks. Okay. What an interesting guy. Um, yeah. I do think I'm actually going to end the stream right here. I've been streaming for almost three hours, which is uh, the longest I've streamed in a while. It's It's been a minute since I've actually gotten the chance to just sit and stream. So I am going to do like I always do, save it right here, and I will end the stream. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next one, when I have to pay taxes. Yay. Bye.